Hello there, my dear friends. Good morning, good evening, namaste, and a warm welcome to one and all of you. How you have been doing? I only can trust and believe here remotely, virtually, that you all had been doing good. Even if you are not doing good, there is no problem. That is why we are having sessions like these, interactions like these, and we are here to fix and repair your problems. All right, so don't worry. In 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 life, actually, you you should operate your life under two important motives or motto. Number one, do not be much worried. Why? Because worry cannot add or decrement to any any of your situation. It can only add more fuel to the burning fire and make your situation even more worse. And why not to worry is because things are not in your control. Yeah, that's why problem occurred. If things were in your control, it would never be a problem. It would never become a problem. Correct. So the second important thing is learn to be overcomers. The most important strength in every human being's life. May, many people think my job, my bank balance, some people my health. Nothing wrong. You need to have all of these. But inculcating this attitude, right, and making it part of your DNA, making it part of your habitual practice that I will overcome. Let come what may, right? People have many other titles like "Do not give up," "Fight it out," and all that. Uh, that's the spirit and all that. But all of these encompassed into three words: be overcomers, or two words: be overcomers, right? Once again, a warm welcome at another topic, at another session. I hope you have gone through the previous session. Uh, we did a very good coverage on a very important title: "What is the most irritating thing in your life?" Right? And today, it's exactly the opposite: the reciprocal to the previous. um uh, title or uh, message you know what is the most valuable thing in your life this is the title we are going to review i promise you i won't take much time but there are few aspects that we want to as usual explore and discover and help each other to reinvent our lives rediscover our lives and therefore you are able to overcome the problems that you discover you are able to overcome what if you don't discover you are not able to overcome because according to you all is well nothing is well there are a lot of hidden problems that human beings like you and me do not introspect that's where sessions like this will really help you gives light on the problems you have what is the most valuable thing in your life if i were to ask this question standing in the middle of the streets with a big loud mic hey my dear neighborhood my dear friends my dear brothers sisters you know what is the most valuable thing in your life can you please think through it and i keep repeating this what is the most valuable thing in your life from this end to the that that end and all them in our layout there are at least seven or eight different streets and we have at least more than 1000 houses right 1000 houses and uh, i will once again come all of you should be registering your thought and the top 3 winners going to get a car going to get all that if i were to announce those gifts no then everybody will participate enthusiastically hmm? then yeah i'm going to come back again what do you think will come on top of your mind all of you are listening to me what are the three most top valuable things in your life or valuable moments mal valuable things in your life not valuable moments valuable things which you value the most some people would say i value my health the most very good some people might say i would value my wife i would value my husband yeah she is such an angel my husband is such a darling yeah really were you able to make that statement you are really lucky couple okay you may have difference in opinion but that doesn't mean that we hate each other correct if you are able to have the difference in opinion and live in the same house for 20 years married couple listening to me i'm telling you your wife is definitely an angel to you your husband is definitely a darling to you inside this is how you value your husband outside yeah you are so free to him you are one body one flesh one spirit therefore not necessarily you will keep expressing all of these okay now i am little deviating coming back to the original point okay now my children are everything to me the most valuable asset in my life is my or my children right nothing wrong really good attitude keep it up and everybody as parents definitely have to value them the most and uh, some people get little bit into materialism the most valuable thing is my car right if somebody scratches my car that's it my friend the whole night i cannot talk there is something wrong in you recheck okay car is not the most valuable thing than your wife or children so anyway car is a 
metal piece of metal that transports you from point A to point B. That's all. And it's a depreciating asset. Year after year, your value will go down. You might have got the car. That's why you don't invest too much on <clears throat> in your car. Why? It's not the most valuable thing after a year. Maybe after five years, after ten years, gone case. Whatever it may be, Benz or Audi or anything, it is a depreciating asset. So don't invest too much in car. Car is there to transport you. It's a piece of metal. That's it. Yeah, somebody comes and scratches you. Why are you parking in a place where somebody is coming and scratching? If you are able to park in a place which is open, then do not have the habit to complain, right? And then buy independent house and just put a garage where nobody even enters, not even a rat or a cockroach, right? Now again, I'm deviating. Coming back. Now see, side by side, I'm also instilling little bit of thoughts. Okay, you might have noticed that. Hmm? Some people may say the most valuable thing is my dream house, which I built, my lifetime earning I have really put in there. Therefore, this is my valuable asset, the most untouchable thing in my life, and uh, nothing wrong. I really appreciate that. Why? Because having your own house, having your dream home, is not definitely easy thing. Right? Not all people, especially what the statistics says, more than 50-60% of the people are middle class. That to lower middle class. Upper middle class, another 20-25% to and then the rich category. And the topmost rich category, Ambani, Tata's, Brillas and Adani's. How many of them are there? Just 5 or 6. Right? They constitute to the total capacity of not more than 4 or 5 percentage. Correct? No. Remaining are all people like you and me. So, uh, it's normal attitude to have a dream house, nothing wrong. But then you cannot say that is still an object that doesn't have any life. Yeah, house is very important. Without a shelter, where can I live? Middle of the streets? Correct. Don't get angry with me. Not not saying in that perspective. But you will understand my point little later. So have patience. Very good attitude. Keep it up. If you are living in a rented facility, start staking up money. Start planning for something. Uh, as your own assert yeah it's a very it's a, it's a it's a valuable thing but the most valuable thing no sorry it cannot reach to that point i'll explain and many other materialism aspects such as what my bank balances my investments my deposits fds and term deposits lic policies pension plans this and that these are the most valuable thing brother the reason is what you know bro we are all in private sector the moment we lose our job uh, we will be in the middle of the streets, especially in India. You don't have anything for a, a pan uh, holder, right? Like how what we have in US or Europe. And uh, in US, you have SSN number. In Europe, you have a European Council and the Employee Council and all this. By law, they are going to be protected. Food, clothing, shelter, bare minimal, they will get it for free. But here, you lose your job as a pan holder. What would you get? Nothing else, right? The only thing you will be getting some notice. Hey, the tax is due, man. Some Form 16 errors are found and all that. Nowadays, they have really, um, you know, centralized everything. You cannot escape, not a single rupee. Only such notices will come. But I don't think there is anything else that you would be receiving from government. That is how the constitution is. So I'm not blaming anything here. But that is your position. Therefore, what is the most valuable thing for a person in a private sector? Public sector, they get uh, pension and all that, right? Until their li uh, life uh, ends on planet Earth, right? Or they, until they survive on planet Earth. But people like you and me, in private sector, what is the most valuable thing? Ha, the investments that I make. Nothing wrong. But is that the most valuable thing? Yeah, question mark. I'll come to you a little later. But definitely it is valuable thing. I'm telling you what is not something that you should be really bothered and carried away. For example, car. Some people, their puppies, their kittens, all these things are the most valuable thing. They may travel even without their children, but not without their kittens and puppies. There's so much of attraction towards a dog. I'll tell you what, I'm, not, I'm, I'm an animal lover. I want you to know this, right? The, the, the channel which I watch the most is Discovery Channel. Even in the YouTube shorts, no. What I'll be looking for are these animal moments, you know, the cute moments of a lion, lioness, cheetahs, and tigers, tigeress, giraffe, and all that. I'm an animal lover because I love nature. I love God's creation. I believe in God. I'm not emphasizing you to accept this. But then I'm telling you who I am. Not against that. But then... Every animal has a short lifespan. Now, the very reason why I didn't go for a dog uh, or a pet dog, pet, any pet for that matter, the moment it dies, it will really disturb me. I cannot accept it. Therefore, I really admire the nature from a distance. And that's why I call this as not the most valuable thing. 
you may hang around all the pictures you may go for another dog but still that uh, that memory will really strike you and it's not easy to overcome by the time you are overcoming this dog also will die the lifespan is not more than 7 8 years so don't get too attached to this to these kind of asserts or uh, you know aspects which are not permanent right um all of us have to die and live, the, live this world but then never compare a pet dog with a human life or with your children right you need to show that attention or you need to show that respect pay that respect towards children in us you know you know people love dogs more than their children you know, so much of attention they given or lot of money they spend also india also is slowly becoming like that but anyway there are a lot of there is an slowly a reformation act going on um, across the uh, what is it across the ends of india uh, they don't want children many many young couple young teens i know two families i'm not going to mention their names um, these guys i knew them from 20s now they are in 30s now they are in 40s no children and when i little did i discover that yeah they made a decision not to go for children why because that's how it is there is there is some sort of act going on a movement go, mom, movement going on reformation movement and i don't know what is the motive and objective for them the most valuable thing is all about traveling moving from one place to another place having a you know a mug of mug of beer and uh, partying dancing in the dancing in the beach and all that nothing wrong but how can you say that this is the most valuable thing in my life this is not life at some point of time you will get bored with this dancing and parties why because you are not growing younger you are growing older year after year and that's when you will feel that's when you will feel the value of relationship the value of life the human to human connect you will never get it in the name of dogs or cats or uh, parties or this and that right i'm not trying to offend anyone kindly don't mistake me but then time to think is that the most valuable thing so at least you are beyond 40 you are not still too old now also you can be get a kid i have known many people who have gone for a kid even at the age of 45 some people even went to the, for a kid at the age of 50 but the problem is by the time you become 70 the kid would be only 20 years old yeah and 75 years is when you will be marrying which means your hair will be like wool or you may not even have any hair that is a different thing but then you should have the same strength and and many people are not surviving even beyond 50 or 60 or 70 these days so consider all that at an at the right time go for you know uh, children bigger children and all that yes that's the most valuable thing that's the most important thing to do right so world is diversified and we are all living in the in a kind of a diversified world but yes we are unified in thoughts we are not different from each other why because we are human beings we have the same blood and flesh we have the same 100 gram brains as you have two eyes and two legs and two hands we are all the same that can never change no only thing we are diversified in our thoughts in our habitual practices and all that now how how are we supposed to draw a line how are we supposed to judge how are we supposed to justify hey can you please list down the like do's and don'ts what are the most uh, top 3 or 4 valuable things that you that you that you value the most or what are the things which you might be thinking are the most valuable things but they aren't how can i judge i am not here in the judgmental seat and i can pass my verdict on anyone but then in general i am telling i am not saying which is not right which is right but then you might have to start thinking reinventing the wheels if you have gone too far in a in a specific pathway uh, at some point of time you may lose interest in life and that's why you see the kind of uh, you know the depression rates in our country is increasing why because at an early stage they don't get into this kind of introspective process and by the time they want to get into that process it's too late it's it's too very late and that's when people take all nasty decisions which i don't want even to mention in a session like this so forget it right now when i did little bit of googling you know google is always my best friend except i won't accept google as a doctor other than that every possible thing you can get because they are well versed in data science they have good statistic analysis very good tool and i don't have to introduce much on google all of you use google more than i use i think anyway so when i googled hey google tell me what are the most valuable things in life according to your statistics because i know only few people you know only few people but google knows everyone and everyone knows google so he has got more 
um, uh, interaction and a bigger network or a wider network compared to me, right? I'm nothing. I'm, I'm point not 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 one percent of Google, and Google is 99.9999 percent greater than me. Therefore, let me show that respect to him. What is my Google boy saying? My Google boy is saying the following: According to the world, more than 68 percentage of people have accepted that these are the top seven or eight things that they value the most, which means in a voting campaign, right? When an election happens in India, whether you like the leader or not, whether he may be as intellectual as that or he may be as dumb as that, election results matter, okay? And from that time onwards, he is our honorable prime minister or he is our honorable chief minister or he is our honorable president. No arguments. If you at all don't show that respect, you are violating the law of your land, you will be judged and thrown into jail right everyone will have to respect that why majority wins if more than 68 percent of people are thinking that these are the top most valuable things that really help them that they have really got adjusted to that they have really embraced it very tightly and they enjoy their life they they have that kind of peace and happiness and all that you and i the remaining 32 percent i'm not saying remaining 32 percent are you know, out of their mind, mad people and idiots and all that. No, no, sorry. We are not using any strong language here. Take your time and give it a chance, right? Give it a chance to uh, bend your ears or lend your ears to other people's thoughts. Nothing wrong. What is Google saying? Quickly, I'm going to tell you what is Google saying. There is no big deal. And I will shed a little bit of light. See, I want to close in 10 minutes. Another 17 minutes over already. Number one. You know what is the most valuable thing that people have embraced and, and, and valued it uh, more than their money, more than their car, more than their dogs, cats, children, even more than their wife and husbands? Peace. Peace means not this green peas which you eat, mutter, no? <laughs> mutter curry, not that. P-E-A-C-E, -E, peace. Learn to pursue peace with men. This must be a very good principle. Side by side we are living principles. If you have any quarrel, if you have any unforgiving attitude, if you have that bitterness, grudge, complaining attitude, gossiping against your employer, your own wife, your own husband, your own boss, your own colleague, your own peer, your own neighbor, a neighbor's dog, all these things you have, please, you know, time to let go. Don't carry that garbage, that big garbage of gossips and grudge and all that. And uh, that is what you need to really value. What is that you want to value? Not garbage on your back, on your shoulders, but drag, you know, drubbing that garbage into trash can and learn to be peace with men to a large extent. Other person is not accepting when you say, sorry, forgive me, man. Okay, I did this or I forgive you and all that. If people are in the guilty mode or in the harsh mode, that is up to them. Leave them alone. That is another policy. Okay. But then... You try it from your side and that is the most valuable thing that you should embrace in your life. Be peacemakers. Why you should be at peace? A statistic says, I think from uh, Stanford University, those that are in this business of peacemaking, right? They are almost, you know, their statistic says there are more than 81% of people remain healthy and they live long. Yeah, if there are 10 people out of which 5 are always pursuing peace, very lightly they take, no problem. Uh, yeah, I understand you spoke harshly. It's okay. That time you were in some tension. I forgive you. Let go. Let go policy people will live longer. They will have a lot of health. Um, you know, whereas the other five people who always are, are sensitized, you know, like touch me not plant, they won't live long or they will end up in some sort of health issues and they will end up in bed uh, bedridden or whatever, right? You don't want to go there, right? That's definitely not the reason why we are surviving. Good. The next one, what you should, uh, what people are valuing the most is health. I think no, none, most of us, not none of us, most of us do not have a health conscious. Very few people, right? This big hole on your face, no, this mouth, hmm? this tongue, no, it's a, it's a really a dangerous thing. It wants to grab and eat when you're hungry and all that. Or some people, you know, their hobby itself is eating. <clears throat> some people eat to live or some people live to eat which category you are you are living to eat and eat and eat and, and glutton for food <laughs> check out right health conscious okay you are eating no problem build muscles you need to burn your calories right have a regular habit to exercise and all that these are the things which you should value the most 
right health conscious starts with your diet that is a sigma rule right and health conscious also involves your exercising habits see my time is running and i will talk through another three four things family and friendship learn to have fellowship never sit alone weekends don't sit in front of computer i told this many times you are an it engineer or anywhere you are working no problem but don't get into office work unless and until it's a must and should situation kindly avoid try to get out of this office work 48 hours in every week you should take off go somewhere or invite someone have fellowship that friendship and family uh, time you know it really helps this is what i think people have really uh, learned a lot 68% of people are having this kind of attitude that means you and yourself all the time spending time together will not help you to march forward in your life yeah, it's, yeah, that's not the valuable thing in life time time management do not waste time value your time use your time fruitfully meaningfully don't use your time in gossiping facebook twitter and all that you know use it once in a while man read that this facebook twitter is really going to drag you backward right it will only uh, kindle that emotion and make you to garbage your mouth against a politician or a actor or a this and that and leave it let let people hashtag no please drop it you don't have to get into those hashtags anymore seriously i'm telling you you will enjoy right only if you get out of this hashtag and really go and meet the people okay the guys who are in the hashtag are they dare enough to come somewhere in a place come let's talk together and all that and invite media also do you have the guts to talk before media no right only sitting there and typing what it will add huh? leaving your comment and all that now another guy will comment on your comment how dare you speak like that to me see unnecessary brawls why you need to get into all this huh? value your time and use the sigma rules use the time fruitfully use the time meaningfully and use the time valuably right more all three things you only should decide i cannot i cannot decide for you but i'm just leaving behind few days i'm not against facebook i also i'm also a social media person only but then i really don't have time to use that more than 5 minutes half an hour per week not more than that half an hour per week itself is a big thing for me learning learning and one more thing i will tell that and i i'm sorry i took lot of time very important uh, message uh, i'm i'm sure you agree with me what is the most valuable thing in your life dude you have to discover it yeah please listen to me two more minutes learning education is wealth how many of you agree with me education means not doing certification after certification this and that and learn the values of life right what are the morals of life what is the principles of life what must be the sigma rules in life what is the discipline that you need to adhere in life you see already i gave you five six parameters we don't focus on this is education not talking about your um, what is it six sigma certification or uh, me m tech m phd 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 and phd three more phds they will take what do, what do you achieve one phd is enough i have never pursued or pressed too much hard towards this education system but then i pressed too hard towards the values of life like one i am doing it for you, all of you right you have lot of every one of us have talents only thing is you don't bring it out and you don't make it a kind of a habit that must be sold to other not sold to others that must be a blessing to others and not converting into a kind of a financial matter because a person like me who's i i all of you accept to some extent i have communication skills i have i could have sold this talent to somewhere in training center and gone and trained people in pmp certification agile this and that i know all this i'm knowledgeable really can i can influence people and all that but i did not take that route because value of life is not all about money right but i did not resign my job and sit and do all this right i do it as a hobby because why i want to help others like this you can use your time time management is very good and through education you can educate yourself lastly learn to love one another right i am not talking from a carnal perspective huh? that lustful thing in your eyes and all that opposite sex and same sex also today something is happening i don't want to talk about all that why because now the law of the land itself is permitting yeah uh, the gay and all that i am not getting into that uh, but that kind of love i am not talking nothing to do with this bodily related matters it's about you know being gentle being kind to one another help one another and uh, learn to share the knowledge and that is what is going to build our community you are building your society you are building the future gen next generation or something like that isn't it 
So I learned that is called that is the definition of love, isn't it? Helping one another. All right. I think this is good enough. Now you understood. There are multiple answers to this one question. What is the most valuable thing in your life? Maybe you had a different perspective. I'm not disagreeing with you. That's okay. But then you can also try to you know give room for these thoughts which we have really planted in your mind. And God bless you. Take care. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Share with your friends, anyone whom you know, because these are the things which people ignore the most. And kindly invite every one of them to our channel room. We keep releasing videos. You want any specific videos? Let us know, and we will do and we will do our best. Bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.